Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to jump out a heat pump thermostat or how to bypass the thermostat face. So I'm going to show you six wiring combinations in order to turn heat on, turn cooling on, turn emergency heat on, turn fan on, and also for root and ream manufacturers how to turn heat and cooling on as well. So that's six wiring combinations used to bypass a thermostat face just to make sure uh, that the system's actually working right and the thermostat wires are working right, but maybe just the thermostat face isn't working improperly. So this is your first wiring orientation. You have R, Y, and G wiring at it together, and this is for heat for all major manufacturers for the most part, except for Rood and Ream. This will turn your heat pump on. For this one, we have R, O, G, and Y connected together, and this will turn on cooling for all major manufacturers for the most part, except for Rood and Ream. That's because when you power your reversing valve, you're now in cooling mode. So orange right here is a reversing valve. Now this wiring setup is actually for a root or ream. So if you have a root heat pump, then you're going to power the reversing valve in heat mode. So that means that you're going to be using this B terminal. So now when we take these wires out and we wire nut them, you got to remember that now this orange wire right here is actually the B terminal. And now I'm going to show you the wiring orientation for a root and ream in heat mode. So this orange wire right here came out of the B terminal right here. So on a root or ream heat pump, the wires that touch the R wire are the B, the G, and the Y. So now we're in heat mode for the heat pump. And now on a root or ream, we are now in cooling mode. We have G and Y touching the R, and they're both sending the 24 volt signal back to the control board. We are not powering the reversing valve in B. So now we disconnected our R and our E and we have them both wire nutted right here. So we have 24 volt power going back to turn emergency heat on. So that will power emergency heat regardless of whether you had a root or ream heat pump or a another manufacturer like York or Goodman or a carrier or whatever. And finally, regardless of whether you have a root or ream or another major manufacturer, if you want to turn your fan on, you're going to disconnect your R and disconnect your G and you're going to connect them over here in the wire nut. So I just want to go over each of these uh, six wiring combinations just to make sure that you did know in case you did need to jump a thermostat out or uh, bypass a thermostat. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, check out patreon.com slash acservicetech where we're rewarding the members there by adding extra content such as articles, videos, and answering questions. And if you look for the tools and supplies used in this video, such as the mag jumpers or the thermostat screwdriver or the heat pump thermostat, I have them all linked down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.